This week in the Missouri Senate, we review how the beginning of the second half of session Mr. progressed. President, would you send that Senate substitute back? Tuesday saw opening dialogue on Senate Bill 190, which seeks to modify Senate provisions relating to rate-making for public utilities. Senator Ed Emery of Lamar is the sponsor and offered a substitute measure late Tuesday afternoon. So a couple of technical problems that we discovered, one of them related to one of those amendments and another one that we discovered in the bill that we've corrected. During discussion, Senate Minority Floor Leader Gina Walsh of Bell Fountain Neighbors mentioned she has concerns about how low-income people would fare. I just want to make sure that little lady that lives down the street from me, that her electric bill isn't going to skyrocket. Senate Bill 190 has been set aside for further talks, as has Senate Bill 184, which relates to water and sewer rate adjustments. The eyes appear to have it. The eyes do have it. The bills Wednesday the saw time spent on Senate Bill 213, which would establish requirements for certain settlement offers of tort claims, which must be accepted within a specified period of time. Senator Kayla Browden of Columbia is sponsor and says a time-limited demand is when a lawyer tells an insurance company his client has damages he wants restored immediately. What is sought to be done is to find a way around our current law. During discussion, Senator Scott Sisson of Afton said he believes improvements can be made to current law. Bearing in mind, of course, I'm just one of 33 and I don't know what everybody else here thinks about this. On Wednesday evening, Missouri Senators gave first round approval to Senate Bill 213. Another favorable vote would send the measure to the Missouri House of Representatives for Senator similar from consideration. Senate moves its Senate bill number After passing several consent bills, measures considered non controversial or without a fiscal note, on Monday afternoon, Missouri Senators spent time on Senate Bill 293. Sponsor, Senator Gary Romine of Farmington, says his proposal would modify the per-ton fee paid to the Missouri Division of Fire Safety for use of explosives under the Missouri Blasting Safety Act. Therefore, we added language in the bill that states that the fee authorized in this section and adjusted by the rules shall not be greater than the cost of administering the program. Senator Jason Holzman of Kansas City later reacted to an attempted amendment that would have related to noise ordinances. But any time you're trying to mitigate nuisance liability, you know, I think of the CAFOs and the health ordinances and county ordinances. The amendment was withdrawn. Senate Bill 293 received preliminary Missouri Senate approval on Monday evening and was sent to the Missouri House on Thursday. And remember, you can follow these and other issues facing the Missouri Senate by visiting our website, senate.mo.gov. Reporting from the state capitol, I'm Dean Morgan.